Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back if you've been here before but if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video but let's jump right into it. I have a lot happening today. Right now we are completely pulling everything out of my cleaning closet. We are going to be reorganizing, decluttering, and deep cleaning this closet completely. It has just been completely overgrown with cleaning products and unnecessary clutter. Um, tons of vacuum cleaners and so we are really just going to be doing it all in this cleaning closet today but that's not just it we're going to be moving some things around in my living room today we're going to be deep cleaning my garbage cans we're going to be cleaning out my truck as well as so much more but let me not get too long-winded here and let you guys enjoy some music. So really when it comes to decluttering, my first rule of thumb is what do I not use? Like what are the products I have not touched in the last six months and are likely not to touch in the next six months? So that's kind of like my rule of thumb when I'm trying to declutter a space like you know unless I unless it brings me full and complete joy um if i haven't used it in the last six months and i don't think i'm going to use it in the next then i'll either donate it get rid of it you know put it in its rightful place <clears throat> so on and so forth and also i just want to apologize i'm getting over like a little bacterial infection in my throat so if my voice sounds a little crackly that's probably why <laughs> But I do absolutely love these baskets. I got these from Target. So another thing I love when 
like organizing the spaces, baskets, little organizer bags, which I'll show you here in a second. I got these off Amazon. I use these for everything all over my house. I originally got these for the intended purpose of organizing Remington's like toys and stuff. But honestly, they've become so handy everywhere else in my house. Like, I cannot recommend these little organizer bags enough. Like, you wouldn't think that they'd be as useful as they are, but they really are. Um, even just to put, like, little accessories in to, you know, zip up and put in a bin and whatnot. It... I just absolutely couldn't have found like a better organizing organizing like solution. So I will have those linked down below. They're absolutely like been a life changer for me since I started using them here in the house. But yeah. <laughs> So I've recently been, you know, teaching more and more people that you can take apart your vacuums to clean them, you can wash the filters, most of the time uh, you can wash the actual parts of the vacuum themselves as long as you, you know, let them dry for the proper amount of time before trying to use them again. Definitely. Make sure that's like a very big priority if you're completely washing your vacuum in water. Um, see like right here, you can wash that. How satisfying would that be? <laughs> also, if you take care of your vacuum, so your vacuums will take care of you. I've always said that you have to maintain these machines. And honestly... If I had to give one piece of advice, like cleaning advice, invest in your cleaning tools that will help you, like, make it, that will make your life easier. Like, your robot vacuums, your wet-dry vacs, invest in those machines because they truly do save time and make cleaning a lot easier. Like, little hand vacs like this super super handy for little cabinet spaces vacuuming things off the counter off the table um in the cup holders you know uh, around the back side of the toilet um your car absolutely 
so many uses and it makes life a lot easier like most of the time honestly but the things that make life the most easiest I would like to say are the robot backs and like the wet dry backs for sure so uh invest in your tools and also a reminder that you can take apart a lot of your vacuums and wash them by hand so So here, what I'm using on the counters, this is called JAWS uh, Kitchen Degreaser, but JAWS stands for Just Add Water System. If you've been here before, you know all about JAWS already, but I love, love, love to talk about it. So yes, it stands for Just Add Water System, um, and I love JAWS for so, so many reasons, but just to sum it up into a quick, a quick little clip, um, I love JAWS well because they're refillable bottles, reusable bottles, you just fill up the bottles with water, pop in a new cleaning pod, twist on the lid, um, and then it, it makes the water into a cleaning solution really really love that um they're non-toxic products they work very very well they have a lot of different cleaners um and they're constantly coming out with new things all of the time uh their pods themselves are child safe um did i mention non-toxic yeah non-toxic which is obviously like a huge one for me at the time of like originally purchasing them um that was like a really big thing for me it was that they were non-toxic because at the time I had like a little infant baby um you know rolling around chewing on everything so that was a huge concern of mine back then and honestly i've been using them ever since so it's going on four years now because my son's about to be four so i've been using jaws for about four years now and i can definitely say with all of my heart that they are fantastic products i stand behind them um no i'm not sponsored i would love to be um but i'm not and i will always always recommend 
these cleaning products. I truly do adore them. Um, another one that you'll see here in a little bit to deep clean my stove top is also from Jaws, so stay tuned for that. I can't wait to share it with you. It's definitely a game changer for all of those hard on stains. So here we are, we're about to deep clean this stove top, it is well overdue, we have a lot of burnt on stains here, I already wiped it down with the Jaws Kitchen degreaser beforehand, so this is a mild, uh, ad so this is like a mildly harsh chemical, so I don't believe that it's non-toxic, but it does work really well. Um, it does have a stronger scent, so, you know, open a window, turn on the fan or something, and, uh, it actually comes with, like, this scrub pad itself, and I would compare, like, this paste to, like, Scrub Daddy Power Paste or the pink stuff, like, it definitely can complete, compete with the two of them, look, how oh, shiny and clean and then i just follow that up with the jaws glass cleaner and honestly this stovetop looks oh my god it's like a little chef kiss it looks fantastic and then from one nasty task to the next we are going to be deep cleaning these garbage cans it was well overdue like the junk in here was honestly disgusting the smell was even worse um but don't let that fool you they are just gonna be as dirty like in like a week maybe two weeks if i'm lucky so i'll have to do this again um Cleaning is never ending for me in this house and honestly I feel so so behind especially with like the deep cleaning like I need to tackle inside the cabinets soon like it is the time of year that I need to prepare the house for the holidays like I have a ton of events that I'm holding here in the house like coming up soon so I really need to like 
get it together, you know what I mean? Um, here I am snapping at myself in a voiceover, but yeah, I need to get it together. Like, there's a lot of deep cleaning that needs to be done in this house to prepare for the holidays. Um, honestly, I just want to paint the dining room, I think, before the holidays comes, as well as try to find, like, some chairs for the dining table because the chairs we have are just, they're not going to work. Um, as much as I want to make them work, they've been here for four years, like, it's time to get some new chairs. So, I've been on the hunt. I'm trying to save money, so I don't want to go crazy, but I do need a new dining room set. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, you know, ever since I got this trampoline, it just felt so out of place in the living room, even though this living room is huge. Like, it just, it felt so awkward in here, and I feel like this over here is, like, the best spot that I've found, found for it so far, and honestly, I really like it because the trampoline, like, we had it over by the fireplace, and there's a gate right there, and if he fell, like, onto the netting, he would, like, hit his head on, on, like, the gate, so not only does it look less awkward in here, it also is a little bit safer because I put those mats there up against the glass door, so I'm happy it's out of the way. <laughs>
So now jumping upstairs, this is the guest bathroom or hallway bathroom. I use this one actually quite a bit, especially in the mornings to get ready for the gym. It's super, super early in the morning, so I don't like to disturb Jeremy in the morning. So I try to use this bathroom. Um, it's quieter for everybody. And honestly, I don't have to worry about waking anyone up while I'm using this bathroom. So it's a win-win situation. But we're going to be cleaning this one up in here, scrubbing down the bathtub. And then we're going to be jumping over to my son's bathroom as well. His bathtub was really, really bad. It definitely needed to be scrubbed down. I threw away the mat that was in his tub. Um, and... I had to go get a new one the next day. He almost lost his mind because I threw out that mat. If you've, uh, if you're new here, my son, he's autistic. And the mat that he has in his bathtub, he's had the same mat in there for, I don't know, at least two years now. And me not thinking, I threw it away and put in a soft little squishy mat and... That did not go for well for me, um, so the next morning I had to run out to Target and get the same exact bath mat that he's had for like the last two years, and then, you know, everything went back to normal. But here, to scrub down the tubs, I am using this scrub brush. I got this off Amazon. This thing has been amazing, like super, super useful for so many different reasons. It's expandable, so I can take this and make it like a smaller um, thing if I want to use it like on the counters or whatnot, or I can extend it and make it longer to scrub the bathtubs like like I am here so I don't have to bend over um, and, you know, break my back to scrub the bathtubs which I also really, really love, but I am using the pink stuff here in the bathtub. Like I said before earlier, the Jaws, like, cream cleanser is comparable to the pink stuff, and I can say that because I have compared the two of them side by side. Super similar results. Um, honestly, they, they give the same results almost. <laughs>
So the scrub the inside of the toilet, I normally only use the toilet, like the toilet Clorox wand, but to give like a little bit of an extra help, I'm using the Method toilet bowl cleaner um i also need to just use it up like these are like kind of products that i don't extremely love but i don't hate them so i still keep them and i need to use them so because uh, i don't want to just throw them away like you know what i mean so to, for an extra little boost i am using that toilet cleaner in the toilet as well as like the jaws daily shower cleaner but it's not just for the showers you can use it for the tubs the toilets the sinks you know all of the bathroom surfaces as a daily cleaner which i really love 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 that it smells really great too and uh, that's it i'm finished cleaning up that bathroom I'm gonna send in my quick little Robo Rock vacuum I love Robo Rock I will rant and rave about them for from here on out I have tried many of their different vacuums and I love every single one of them um I will talk a lot more about Robo Rock in upcoming videos because I can truly say that I love all of their robot vacuums because I have tried quite a few of them from this company. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head Under my bed, think you're something out of my head Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a time Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something Oh,
So when I tell you that my truck was way overdue for cleaning, I truly mean that. Like, it was absolutely gross in here, as you saw before I showed you. Um, it needed, like, a deep clean, like, to infinity and beyond. Even the clean that I did here was super basic because I was going to drop this off at the shop the next day. It desperately needed, um... I had a lot of work done. The shocks in particular were really bad. I needed to have it get inspected. Uh, it needed an oil change, a transmission fluid flush, as well as like there was a um, some line leaking. I don't remember exactly, but so yeah, like the bill was hefty. It was like five thousand dollars in work. So. Mainly because the shocks that I have are electric shocks, so they're special and definitely a hefty bill to pay, but it was the first time that I really had any work done on my truck since I've had it, and I've also had this for about four years. Um, funny, I started using Jaws products the same time I bought my truck, so, <laughs> um, they're, they're comparable in age, um, for me at least, but yeah, I do use Jaws in my truck as well. I absolutely love, love, love it because it doesn't, like weird leave weird residue on my leather i noticed like when i use other sprays or cleaners on my leather in my truck that it, it kind of leaves like a weird film or like residue afterwards and i can i could never figure out like why um i'm assuming because it's leather uh, so I stopped using things on it for a while, and then I was like, hmm, I literally could just use Jaws in my vehicle as well. Like, why did I think of that before? So then, obviously, I started using it in here, <laughs> and I love it. It definitely makes my life a lot easier. I can use the disinfectant cleaner on the glass too, and it doesn't leave any like streak marks or anything. I don't use it all of the time, but I prefer the glass cleaner. It kind of doesn't, you know, it kind of leaves more of like a shine compared to using like the disinfectant on the windows. Um, so yeah, I, I would always recommend going back in with like the glass cleaner if you do use the disinfectant first that's just you know my recommendation you do whatever you want to do <laughs>
I do want to take a second here while I have a moment to say thank you all so, so much. If you've made it this far in my video, if you've been here before, or if you are new here, I do want to say I appreciate each and every single one of you. You guys are the reason why I make these videos and why I keep making these videos. And we are so, so, so close to our goal of getting monetized. I think I need about another 1500 watch hours and then I can fully commit so so much more time to making videos for you guys and putting out content because then it would actually you know be able to support um my time which would be absolutely fantastic if I would be able to dedicate so much more time to this um because i truly do love it and i love all of you guys and it's such a great community um here on youtube it definitely does not compare you know like you get your little community over on instagram and such but this one here on youtube is special so big thanks and as always i will see you guys in the next one um and don't forget to hit that subscribe button love you guys Bye. <laughs>